Okay everyone, Awesome 4K here is back at you guys once again with another video. And today people, I got something cool for y'all. I'm going to be showing off my entire Mortal Kombat video game collection here for you guys today. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I got some uh, Mortal Kombat related stuff that I also want to show off. So with that being said people, let's get into this collection. Starting with the uh, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero for the N64. It's a pretty good game. It does get pretty hard, but it's, it's, it's a decent game. I like it. And they also have this for the PlayStation 1, which I wouldn't mind picking up at some point. And look at this on the back. Check this out. This at one time was a Blockbuster rental. There's the rent code. Blockbuster Videos. So they had this as a rental, and uh, at some point they put it out for sale for whatever amount, and I picked it up years ago. Hell yeah. Next up, I'd say as, uh, one of my favorite games of all time is the uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Yeah, this is one of my favorite games in the Mortal Kombat series. This one, 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 are my favorites. For the N64 here. And I know that uh, this is for the PlayStation 1 and they have a few extra uh, characters in there. So I wouldn't mind picking up the PlayStation 1 version uh, whenever I can find it. But yeah, great game. Love this game. Next up we got Mortal Kombat Armageddon, the premium edition for the PS2. Which also includes, which is sweet, the playable version of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Love it. And I like that they added this uh, Motor Combat here. The all new Motor Combat. That is sweet. In the future, I want to play some of this uh, Motor Combat, you know. Uh, but as of right now, my PlayStation 2 is dead. I don't have one. Well, I got one, but it's dead. And I have to pick up another one in the future. But when I do, I want to get into playing some more PS2 games for sure. Next up, we got Mortal Kombat XL for the PlayStation 4. Which includes all additional characters and skin packs, which is nice. This cover is alright. They, they could have done something a little better, I think, with the cover. But it's alright. I could have done something like with too much black, I think. Same thing on the back here. Too much black. Should have added some stuff. But it's a fun game. And all the DLC stuff is pretty cool. Next up, we got Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe here on the PlayStation 3 Greatest Hits. Which is a decent game. I like it. They had to tone down the fatalities for this one, but it's all good. Wouldn't mind seeing another, you know, Mortal Kombat vs. DC game. Next up here, if you'll focus, okay. We got Mortal Kombat 9, the complete edition, you know, which has Freddy in there. Four additional characters and skins, and... On the PlayStation 3 version, you get the exclusive content, play as Kratos, which is kick-ass. And you play this in 3D. So you got Freddy on the back. Great game. Uh, hell yeah. Love it. Next up, we got uh, Mortal Kombat Deception. The Collector's Edition for the Xbox which also includes um, the Arcade Perfect playable version of Mortal Kombat 1, which is kick-ass. And you get, you know, Chess Combat. That's awesome. Puzzle Combat, Conquest Adventure. I love chess. I've been playing chess for years, man. I always play it on my computer all the time, too. Big into chess. I love it. been playing for over 20 years. Next up, we got Mortal Kombat Deception again, as you see, Xbox, but we got the GameCube version as well because 
as you can see on the back, like I was saying, uh, the Nintendo GameCube exclusive, you get playable characters, Goro and Shao Kahn. So, like I was saying in the beginning that, uh, you know, like, for the Mortal Kombat trilogy, the PS1 gets extra fighters. And they've been doing that with games, you know, uh, certain games, you know, systems, they, um, like the GameCube will get exclusives. Uh, same thing with Armageddon. Like the the Wii version gets an extra uh, fighter that's not in any of the other versions. And uh, you know Kratos is also in this version that's not in any others. So yeah, we got Deception here for the GameCube as well. Next here we got. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Right on. Old school. Beat them up. I like this as a DVD content. You get a music video. You get behind the scenes making of Deadly Alliance. That's pretty cool. And history of Mortal Kombat. Which is nice. Move these up. Next up is, oh yeah, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Now, this game is really cool, man. Love this game. I haven't played it in a long time. Because like I said, my, my PS2 is down. I need a new one. But I would love to play this again and go co-op with my friend and, uh, you know, film it for my channel. I would love to see it like a remastered version of this put out on the new consoles, man. That that would be cool. Or make a new game like this. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Hell yeah. Fun game. And the last game here, which I had to include because uh, it has two Mortal Kombat games in here. The Midway Arcade Treasures 2, which has Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 3. So which is cool is you get, I got all the physical copies here of all the old school Mortal Kombat games. Like right here in the Deception, we got the Mortal Kombat 1 physical. Then we got the Mortal Kombat 2 and 3 on the Midway Arcade Treasures here. And then on the uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon Premium Edition, I get Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which is sweet. And yeah, there's quite a few that I'm also missing. You know, I wouldn't mind getting Mortal Kombat 4 for the PS1, Mortal Kombat Gold for the uh, Dreamcast. Um, I need to get Mortal Kombat Trilogy for the PS1. So yeah, there's uh, still a few I need to, you know, pick up. But, uh, yeah, that's my collection there. And we're at the end of the video, so I want to show you guys some things that are Mortal Kombat related. Starting with this old school Mortal Kombat Xbox controller here, which is pretty cool. I've had this forever. I picked this up at GameStop. I think they had it on clearance for like five bucks or something like that. But, hell yeah, if you can see here. It shows a sub-zero fatality. You gotta move it around like the 3D artwork there. That's pretty cool. Let's see, this is a... Uh, 2004 it says. And uh... I guess only 40,000 were made. Right on. So yeah, still works pretty good. Feels good. So it's this pretty sweet controller. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys that's Mortal Kombat related is this uh, four pack here, the Blu ray. I guess it's a Best Buy exclusive. We got Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which is the second movie. These movies were alright. It's just that they're PG 13, and when stuff's PG 13, you can't really show hardcore, you know, fatalities in this. So if they ever reboot the series, man. I hope it's an R-rated, you know, movie, because that's what we really need and want. <laughs> you know, we want to see some fatalities. And then we got 
Mortal Kombat Legacy here, which is a pretty good series. I like this one. There's also uh, there's a second season uh, that I don't have yet that I do want to pick up. And um, I know they were uh, filming. I think they started filming a season three. But for whatever reason, uh, it never got released. It's like something that got like scrapped or something for some reason. I'm not sure why, but these were pretty good. And also, one thing I need to pick up is that Mortal Kombat uh, television show with Daniel Bernhardt from the 90s, if you guys remember that. I think it was called Mortal Kombat Conquest. I used to watch that, and I noticed it, that you know it is on DVD, so I need to pick that up at some point. But, uh, yeah, just figured I'd show those little extra things off along with my Mortal Kombat game collection here. So, hell yeah, dude. So, I guess that's it for this video. If you guys have uh, Mortal Kombat games and you want to show off your Mortal Kombat game collection, I'd like to see them for sure. And uh, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day. Peace.